Hi, you guys. Hi, guys. Hi, everybody. Bubble Talk, episode three. And we are starting on time, maybe one minute late. <laughs> That's really good for a girl. You guys know that. All of you out there. I'm getting better at this. Listen, today we are discussing fitness insight for the new 2018 new you. And today I have my special guest, Jim Hi. Stovall here. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. When he walked in the door, it was like a flashback to 1994. <laughs> Can I say that? <laughs> yeah. Are you going to hate me now, Jim? <laughs> no. <laughs> we go so far back. Mm -hmm. Do you want to tell our audience a little bit about you and just everything that you've done and how we met and how you came to be So today. the funny part about how we met, I had, I've been in martial arts since I was 10, had my first school, ran my first school when I was in high school. And then my second school, um, I was out there, I was closing up one day and I come walking out the door and looking in the window next to me is this lady with a little baby in her hand in a <laughs> diaper. And I'm looking. I'm not so tiny. He's, he was seven months old. Yeah. Is that crazy? And yeah. That's a long time ago. Wow. Yes. <laughs> I know. He was, uh, he's 25, almost 26 now. Oh, yeah. And yeah. got to watch Marcus grow up and dance and his little hats. <laughs> he I'm was sure, always I'm sure dressed he's to the that right now. He's like, great, mom. I love Hi, Marcus. <laughs> that's hysterical. Yeah. And, okay. Um, so. So, and then from there, you know, after I had a really good success in the martial arts industry. And then in, with business and I kind of took that um, success into some other aspects, restaurants, bars. And, you know, that's just kind of what I've enjoyed doing my whole life is, so you is basically, the entrepreneur. Right. You've basically been an entrepreneur. I mean, when I met you back 20 something plus years ago, but basically at the time that I met you, you had been an entrepreneur for many years yes, before that. Correct. Correct. Before that. Mm -hmm. this and is, it has a, it has its pluses and minuses, sure. positives, failures, successes, like, sure. yeah, like everything else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, what, how I remember him, he was um, training for Taekwondo um, competitions at a national level. This guy was no joke. Um, four or 5 a.m. in the morning workouts. I mean, it was, it was insane um, just getting to know him as my next door neighbor, so to speak, in the business world. You know, I was in my late 20s when I started my very first business. And like he said, at a six month old in diapers and, and we were kind of just becoming um, friends um, at the business level. But when you work day in and day out, seven right. days a week, you get to know each other's families, girlfriends, boyfriends, babies. And, and so I felt like I had a studio for nine years next to him. So I felt like I really know Jim in a, right. in a, on a personal level. Great and at one guy. point, we shared a studio. Yes. <laughs> yes, at one point, we did share a studio. I forgot about that. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's a clinkable. We call that clinkable. That's when you can toast. Yeah. Yeah, was... I forgot about that. Yeah. So we have literally worked in the same building. Yeah. In the same room. Yeah. Is that crazy? Little dance kids going one way, karate kids going another way, <laughs> and us hey. having no idea what parents are going where. Yeah, and that was the 90s. We had it going on back then. Now they actually have studios designed like that where they have like the upper level is the Taekwondo martial arts studio. Right. And the lower level is the dance. We were doing that a long time ago. We got you beat. We got you beat. So you guys, I know you're like, okay, what are these two going to talk about? Well, listen, on a more serious note, you know I'm a fanatic about fitness and a healthy way of living uh, for sure. And this is my first fitness advocate on Bubble Talk. And so we're going to jump right into some really hot topics for you guys, because I've said this many times to Jim, and I'm going to keep saying it. I feel like I've tried everything, every workout, every diet, every, every, everything they're supposed to be Atkins. And, I, and, no, and I'm not knocking any of those, but they never really worked well for me never really worked well for me. And why I'm reaching out to Jim is because he is a representative of the outlaw supplemental company. And I've never, I'm one of those people that hates to take Advil. I'll have a drink of bubbly every day, but I will not take medication. I don't like anything artificial. I don't like any chemical or that's something that's been processed right. to, to be inside my body. I'm like a big naturalist, organic food, eat clean. I love that kind of stuff. And so I reached out to Jim just recently because I'm interested in 
supplementing because I'm 50 now and things feel different now as an athlete, former professional dancer, things are changing. And if I'm going to trust someone with these type of supplements, it's going to be Jim. So I want you to jump right into this, Jim, and tell me a little bit about what so, I can learn. So the one thing about supplements is when people are reaching out, when whether they're an, they're an advanced athlete, whether they're mom and dad, whether they're high school athlete, they forget the, the very basic aspect of supplements, which is they're supplemental. So they'll jump in, they'll buy $200 worth of supplements, and they haven't actually started working out yet. So they'll go in, they'll start working out, they'll put all these supplements in their body. Their body has no idea what to do because you've just used, put the supplements in to kind of force your body to do something. So you don't know how it's going to react. Your metabolism don't, doesn't know what to do with it. So you generally end up just kind of flushing it down. So, what, so supplements add to what you're already existing, what you're already doing. Right. So okay. they, you really need to, if you really want to start a, a new life process, you know, it, right. I, it, it's different if say I want to fit into my dress and not me personally dress. <laughs> I try not to wear those. That would often. be weird. <laughs> <laughs> but if you want to fit into your new outfit for high school reunion or sure. whatever, and you've got a specific timeline where I have to fit in this outfit. You know, that's that's a little bit different process than I want to make a life change. I don't want I want to make sure that I am feel the way I want to feel, living the way I want to live and, and looking the way I want to look for a long period Which of time. Which is where I'm at, where I'm right. at. Yeah. So what you want to do is start out doing your exercise process, you know, whether it's the gym or whether it's running, yoga, whatever it is, you need to do it by itself for a little while. Let your body adapt to it. Let your body you know, your body, it takes about two weeks for your body to acclimate to what Ooh, you're doing. Oh, I've said that. If you follow me, 14 <laughs> days. Yeah. It's a 14 day rule. A 14 See, I day love rule. that from him. Yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you, I know some stuff. <laughs> yeah. And, that, and, and that's, that's one of the reasons right. that the like um, Olympic tr uh, training centers in Colorado Springs, because if you're training at a high level, you go train Olympic training center, it's high yeah. up in the air go there for two weeks, your body doesn't need as much oxygen because it acclimated. And then you go somewhere else for right. endurance athletes. And all I've sudden, tried to like, run in Park City. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it was kind of scary. Yeah, yeah. I almost yeah. died running yeah. through the airport because I was yeah. late. <laughs> okay, but, that's interesting. So, you know, you want to let your body acclimate to what you're doing. You get, get it used to everything turning on the way it needs to turn on. You know, your metabolism working the way it should work right. versus the way it's been working, just kind of whatever goes in the body. Um. Can we just say hi real quick? Not that yes. I don't no, think no, it's yeah, very no. interesting. Hi, Randall. He says, hey, babe, looking good. Thank you. <laughs> well, thanks. Camera up there. <laughs> Jim says thank you. Um, ben Berner, he's, you know, he's my go-to guy. He's my audiovisual guy that just works for me, and he's amazing, and thank you, Ben. Um, so let's get into something real quick. You mentioned the KISS method. Yes. Talk about that. Talk about. Okay, one of the things that I have, I learned in high school, in my DECA class, distributing ed education class. And, it, and my, my teacher taught me the KISS method and it stands, it's an acronym for keep it simple. Okay. Um, and that is whether it's business or whether it's nutrition, you really want to keep it simple. You don't okay. want your diet to be this crazy thing that, you, that and like no the, gluten, no sugar, yeah. no nuts, no chocolate. I mean, what you, the heck you, do you, you go eat from here? a normal everyday life to all of a sudden it's this real regimented thing. You can't live like that. Okay. I don't want to live like that. Okay. I want to live a normal, healthy, wonderful life sure. and enjoying what I do. And okay. that's why most people fail. They go out and they hit these really regimented, hardcore diets or training systems right. and you can't keep it up. You, your, your lifestyle doesn't, doesn't, um, work for it, you know, for whatever, for whatever reason, whether it's for work or, or school or kids or everything else, you know, it just doesn't fit. So you want to start out simple, start slow, do a, kick yourself into a, something that you can do, whether it's, oh, it's not showing it. Sorry. Oh no. <laughs> That's my mom saying hi to you. Oh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> hi mom. I tried. Hi, to how are you? On our page, it's been a really long time since I've seen yeah, mom. I don't know what's happening, but that's yeah. okay. Sorry, mom. Yeah. He says, hi, <laughs> not showing it. Okay. So, good. um, you want to start out and, and get your exercise program that you can do. You know, if you, if it's working out in the morning or working out after work, um, you, you just start there. Okay. Keep it really simple. Do go in and 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 you you're. Does that apply to nutrition? Because I it eat applies to nutrition. Really simple. Like my grocery list. I'm not kidding. People ask me all the time, "What do you eat?" I'm like, I have 13 items. I'm like Taco Bell. <laughs> Did you know Taco Bell only has 13 items? Mm -hmm. I mean, even if I don't eat it, sorry, I don't. But they literally every 
Randall taught me. That's the ultimate restaurant Taco. method. It's simple. Like, I mean, spinach, chicken, fish, you know, protein, mm -hmm. protein, 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 and about three green vegetables and yeah. some eggs and some quinoa. And I'm done. Like I'm in and out in like 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's, that's, that's the very I best eat. way to do it. We, and you know, with, uh, I think one of the biggest things people have problems with getting into a nutrition or diet is the time to um, prep their meals, like whether it's food yes. prep or whatever. Yes. And it's an old, old adage, you know, you either plan to fail or plan to succeed or you plan to fail. There's no in between. So Sundays I generally spend, especially since I live in Austin or by Austin. Yeah. Tell them what you do. Tell them how, like what your life's like. This guy is <laughs> super busy. Like, um, listen, well, I live in Bastrop, which is right outside of Austin. And I drive in uh, to TF supplements in the morning. I run the supplement warehouse there, and, which is also the um, Outlaw is a, uh, started out as an in-store supplement yeah, and then it went nationwide and it's just, go, it's doing really, really good. And it's because it's done here in the States. Mm -hmm. Oh, hi, Sally. That's my sister. Hey. <laughs> um, it's a, uh, you know, it's all done here. That way, you know, that whatever is on the label is actually in the product. And that's one of the things when they created Outlaw that they really wanted it to be, uh, a, a true product where people can believe yes. in it, they can feel for it, and not one of these. Um, I love that. I'm scared. I'm scared to take a lot of stuff because they say all natural, all organic, all BS. Yeah. I, I mean, really, BS. Well, any, on a anytime lot of you do stuff. a search online for, yeah. for diet or whatever, Tell the first the thing that pops up, that's the, out there. the first thing that pops up is sales ads. You know, your first half a page of Google search is people who have paid to get there. So, so you know, they're, they're paying to get there. They're not necessarily. Just because it's the best product on the market, the most, the cleanest product on the market, right. um, there's a whole lot of misinformation out there. And, and in the supplement or nutrition world, it's just, it's you just get impounded. You're by inundated. It. You're inundated. Yeah, it's inundated. Like, it's I can't like even walk in a GMC <laughs> store. I can't walk in it. Yeah. It's just like it, you're inundated. Like, yeah. I don't know, blah, blah, blah from blah, blah, blah. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'm just like, okay, look, I'm 50 and I'm feeling low in energy and I feel like I need to do this and this and this. And then I get sold 500 things and I couldn't even tell you what the first product was or the last product. I come out feeling really overwhelmed. And, and that's what I love about Outlaw is they do put every ingredient that is in all of those supplements on the label so you can have it tested and i promise you that what's inside of it is going to be on the label right. and i and i love that and i wanted to make sure that jim came on and talked about that but i also wanted him to talk about something for a quick second i said do you still do a lot of personal training he's like absolutely listen he has trained mma fighters olympic athletes he trained my sister christina martinez from the time she won Miss Houston in April, I'm not going to say your size or how much you weighed, <laughs> but by the time she went to Miss Texas hey, in Scott. July, hey, hey, Scott, <laughs> how are you? <laughs> yeah, at the time she went to Miss Texas in July, she won Miss Houston in April. This is my little sister, Christina. To the time she went to Miss Texas in July, oh my gosh, she was, she can tell you, Christina, if you're out there, you can tell people. She was in the best physical shape she had ever been. And she worked with Jim Stovall in a very natural way. She didn't even take supplements. It was all sheer exercise, 4 a.m., 5 a.m. Um, regiment workouts and a, a very, very, very simple, not strict, but simple diet. And she looked amazing. And, and she was first runner up to Miss Texas. And one of the Just things we, we had to do with Christina is get her out of the the get her away from the scale if you own a scale Ooh, if you're trying to lose don't use if the you're scale trying, yeah get rid of it it's the first thing i tell my clients get rid of it put it in the attic put it in the garage throw it away you know do, use advice. it as, use Great it a plant holder but you never ever <laughs> ever need, need to be on a scale if you really want to know what your progress is um use the photos use Make photos sure, i want y'all to hear this this was a great idea he <laughs> sent me this at 10 o'clock last night i had been teaching dance for five and a half hours when i looked at my text and he put Photos and scale. That was his text from Jim Stovall. And I thought, I'm supposed to take a photo and I need to get on a scale? Like what? And I, I sent him back question marks like, oh, it's too late at night. What, what are you talking about? Now I know what he's talking about. So please, please talk to my audience yeah. about photos so when, first. When, when a new client comes to me and they're asked, you know, they'll, they'll give me, you know, we'll go through the normal interview process. And what I'll tell them tonight, go home. You take three pictures. If you have a significant other or a friend or whoever, take a picture in the front, take a picture in the 
Guys Inside, are liking this right now. Take a picture in the back. <laughs> They're like, and, yeah, babe, tonight yeah, we're and, taking pictures. <laughs> take it in. That's a, what Jim Stovall said. Swimsuit <laughs> or something yeah. that you can really see your figure. Yeah. Take those four pictures and hide them. Don't do not look at them. You're not sharing them with anyone. Yeah. Okay. And put them away in your in your laptop. Put leave them on your camera. Whatever you need to do. And then every four weeks for <laughs> for um, twelve weeks. Hi, Beth. <laughs> Hi, honey. Hi, Beth. <laughs> That's his honey. Hi, yeah. Beth. Okay, go ahead. Um, every four weeks, do the same thing. And then at 12 weeks out, you take those four pictures and you compare them. You take your four fronts, your four sides, and put them right next to each other. And what you're going to notice is you didn't, you see the mirror every day. You yeah. see your face every day. You don't realize the change going up and mm -hmm. you don't realize the change going down because your mind mentally adjusts to the picture that sees every morning when you brush your teeth or every morning when you get ready to go to school, right. work, whatever it is. Right. So when you compare those 12 week photos, you're going to get the biggest shock you've ever seen because you're not going to realize just how much changes you've had in that time. Whereas your scale still says I'm only two pounds down or, yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm five I've never pounds owned up. A scale. And I learned that from him early right. on in my twenties. Y'all are not going to believe this, but I gained 79 pounds with my first son and 83 pounds with my second son. Like I remember having my baby in the, in the basket in the grocery store and people asked me when my baby was due. And I'm like, uh, <laughs> that would be him in the basket. <laughs> nine months old and this is called my gut. <laughs> and I went to gym next door and I was like in tears and I go, I gotta do something. Yeah. Because someone just asked me when my baby's due. And he goes, well, of course, like he was, He's nine months old. I'm like, no, they <laughs> yeah. think I have a baby in here. I have to get rid of this. So yeah. he's the one who taught me first thing you need to do, get rid of your scale because it has nothing to do with what you weigh. It has nothing to do with that. Right. Yes, correct. I and learned your, that from him. Your, your, your weight is going to fluctuate daily by your muscle growth, water consumption, holding water, especially for women. Yeah. Certain time of the month, you tend to hold a little bit more water than others. Uh -oh. Um, in broadcast. Hey, Fred. How are you? And then, and one thing Beth no, just, we're not just mentioned. Okay, good. I'm not sure. I'm <laughs> one like, thing Beth, I hear beep, beep. Yeah. Yeah. Beth mentioned measurements. If yes. you do have the option to do measurements where you can take a 12 point or a 14 point measurement, and we're talking about just a tape where you take the measurements every you did the, that with Christina, with, I Yes, remember. I did that with Christina, for Christina, especially because she's we, super we, tall. My sister was super tall. And we were trying to eat along or give her more of an hourglass. I remember we had to try and reshape her. Um, figure because she was so tall Long and we had to so. create that V for her. Um, and it was just a few little exercises to create that. And um, this guy's it, you guys, <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm bringing you the best because I know some of the best in the industry and I'm not going to give you misinformation. I'm not going to let you go to trainers. I know there's a lot of great trainers out there and I know a lot of you swear by certain people, but we talk about this all the time. Those of us in the fitness industry, you got to figure out what works for you as a male, boom, and as a female, we're different. Our bodies are different. And this guy knows both because he's trained both. And I think it's really, really important that you listen to someone who's been in the industry over 30 plus years. Can I say that? 30 plus years. That makes us Yeah, really I think old. the gray but, hair you know, kind of gives it away yeah. too. <laughs> yeah. Well, but at I, least I, it's still I color here. my grays, but you know, <laughs> who's talking? Yeah. You know, yeah. Um, so let's then... talk about that. So measurements, scale, photos, what do you recommend as far as, cause we haven't really talked about this much, Jim, um, workouts. So workouts. Let's so talk about we workouts. each have different schedules. Um, my schedule right now, my, my schedule. You know, so when do you work out? Let's, let's go to well, reality, TV, reality TV mode. I leave my house at three o'clock in the morning to drive here. I go to work from my one warehouse, go to the next warehouse and some, and then I drive home. So the last five weeks have been so crazy. I haven't even worked out. Oh, bad. So mm -hmm. it's bad on me. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> I am being exactly what I'm saying. But don't I be, appreciate but. that honesty. You know how I am about mm -hmm. that. Yeah. yeah. So, and you can tell, especially on the video, mm -hmm. I'm a little fuller than I normally am wow. <laughs> in my face. And yeah. that's, um, I'm all about it. But it's, it's because my diet's been off. Like I yeah. eat what I can when I can. And it's yeah. the same, same thing we all get into every, sure. every one of us. We, you know, when, um, prior to me being this busy, yeah, me and Beth made our meals every week. Yeah. I would work out, um, once or twice a week. Right. It with, and I was generally just going to spar doing stuff like Here, that. Cause martial that's what arts. martial yeah. arts mm -hmm. or going to the gym with Beth. Uh -huh. Um, which now, what's do. her, what's her, 
Beth, can you tell us your workout? Because I've seen your pictures, girl, and you're a beast. <laughs> like that body for real. <laughs> for real. So, so what's what's your workout like? He's going to tell me. I'm yeah, sure he's so tell me. Beth works her absolute. I mean, she's she's a farrier by trade. Because those booty. Of, yeah. So booty those of you that don't know what a farrier is, she's a blacksmith. She shoes horses. And she, yeah. so she's got a really. My kind of piece. Yeah. <laughs> she's got a really um, uh, physical active physical job. job. Yeah. But. She works when she goes to the gym. She's got her headphones on, and there's nothing in the gym. That <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, honey. <laughs> um, there's nothing in the gym but what she's doing, and she has tunnel vision. Like people will try and talk to her or say hi to her, and she's literally she just got tunnel vision. She yeah. she sees a weight and she does it. So yeah. she works really really hard. Even even when she doesn't want to go, she gets up and goes to the gym. Yeah, that's me. And she's that's me. really adamant about. Um, before you change that, real quick, go ahead. Um, uh, eating clean, like super clean. I when love you, you Beth. <laughs> when you go go grocery shopping, stay on the outside aisle. Never go down the aisles because yeah. that's all the processed stuff. So you stay around the outside, all the fresh stuff. Stay the fruit, on the, meats. the outside aisles when you yes. grocery shop. Yeah. I love that. It's, it's, I'm gonna it, make a shirt that says <laughs> "Stay on the outside yeah. aisles." Yeah, make the circle. Don't go up and down the aisle because the produce and the and the meats. Like the fresh organic meats and the produce, they're on the outside. Mm -hmm. All the yummy, yummy chips, ahoy, Lucky Charms, mm -hmm. ho hos the, in the middle. <laughs> yeah, get away from the middle. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's my new saying. Outside house. Yeah. Yeah. And, and those, and if you're if you're just getting into it and you're really trying to figure out the best way to, whether it's cardio, whether it's um, you know trying to get in there and work out, remember that when you use your muscles, you're burning calories. So the largest muscles in your body are your legs and your glutes. If you want to lose weight, work your legs. Don't be afraid to work your legs. They used to call me the squat Nazi. And that's because it was, and Christina did a million squats. Yeah. <laughs> and it, <laughs> yeah. Oh, sorry. She's and it wasn't, really and, and we're not, yeah, we're not talking about squats with a yeah. bar. No, we're, we're talking about standing like, body weight, lunges, all, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> all that stuff. Can when we you, say hi to a few people? Absolutely. Quick? Freddie, Fred Gorgeous, that's one of my friends. He says each person needs to find out what works for them. Absolutely. Absolutely. So that means you need to spend some time, guys. That means you need to, to invest some time in you. <laughs> that means you need to go to the Randall, gym. you're a hundred percent correct. Oh my God. <laughs> the cookies uh, are on the inside aisle. That's my boyfriend. He's in <laughs> Chicago. Hi, babe. Yes. Get away from those chips. Ahoy. You're gonna write that company. Yeah. So um, but yeah, it's it's it everything we each have to find what works for us. And that includes supplements because your metabolism is different than your best friend's metabolism. It, it's not going to be the same for everybody. So don't try your girlfriend's diet. And my, my girls out there, don't try to eat what I eat. That's not going to work for you. Don't try to eat with your husband or your significant other or boyfriend eats. That's not going to work for you. You've got to really tailor your workout and what you consume mm -hmm. to you. Right. right. That's a hundred percent. And you have to know what's going on. So if you, if you start out trying 15 different things at once. You have all these supplements coming in and you're trying this new diet. You don't know, you don't know which on. one is working and which is not. So you don't know which one to cut out. So, and that's another thing for, especially single moms who are, you know, they're trying to cook for their kids when they come home. So they've got mac and cheese and chicken nuggets because that's what all kids want. That's Amen. all they want to eat. And it's quick and easy. Yes. So and cheap. yes. And cheap. Staying on a budget. So one of the things you can learn to do is ways to make healthier uh, chicken strips, which we, I, I know how to, you can bake them and they take, taste just like Good. fried. Now you I can... just officially recruited you to uh, <laughs> write for my blog, which yeah. I'm about to start recipes by Jim Stovall. There you go. And Beth, I'm blowing your, and Beth, <laughs> she is an amazing I love to cook. cook. We like have she, to cook together, Beth, me, for yeah. sure. <laughs> and pickles. Don't forget pickles. <laughs> <laughs> I love pickles. You're my soulmate. So, I mean, yeah. his soulmate. Yeah. But, you know, we can be friends, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So um, it's it's really important to try and find a way to get your kids eating healthy with you. Because here's the thing. As a as a parent, yeah. I want the best for my children. If I If I am feeding them fat stuff. And not trying to get them to be Processed healthy stuff, like, like me. Yeah, they're eventually going to go through the same battle I went through. Like it, in general, if you're okay, can we talk to Scott for a second? Morning workouts best for fat burning. Well, not best, but assist better. Yes, it gets your metabolism going. If you can, 
if you can get if you can get your mornings in, if you can wake up in the morning and do at least five to ten minutes to um, get your metabolism going. Also, if if you can get up like if you wake up in the morning and eat an apple or a pear, mm-hmm. it'll help get your metabolism going, help everything kick in. And then from that point on, every three hours, make sure you're eating something small snack. Yes. It doesn't have to be a, a major meal. meal. It's just something to keep your metabolism going. Let it know it it's it's working fine and it doesn't have to hold anything because here's the problem with water and food. If we're not eating on a regular basis, if we're not drinking enough water, your body stores it in. It tell it's saying, it says I'm scared like I'm, a squirrel nuts in the like cheeks. Mm-hmm. It's exactly what it does. You, you taught me that like it, your body will take care of itself mm-hmm. without you, your assistance. So, and when it does, it's not always in the best, your best interest. So you've got to kind of work with, your body, which is a little bit like what Fred was saying. You got to figure out what works for you, mm-hmm. and which is really important. So if you're drinking one glass of water a day, it's going to hold in every bit of water you can. So if you will, one of the first things you can do, start out immediately, increase your water intake. If you can try and go to a gallon a day, you're going to have to adjust your, your, so your, if you're on the treadmill with a monster, you <laughs> probably should change that to water. Right. <laughs> I'm guilty of it. Yeah. You know, yeah. I'm guilty of it. But this is what I just had two dance moms. If you're out there, my dance moms, they were asking me, they said, hey, um, I I see that you work out every day. When do you work out? And I said, girl, I work out in the early morning when nobody's in the gym because I don't want anybody to see me when I haven't brushed my teeth and my <laughs> hair is sticking straight up. <laughs> it's not pretty. Like I'm in there to do business. I'm in there to really take care of myself. I have like a 45 minute workout. I, I run for 30, work with some uh, a mat and free weights for 15 minutes and I'm out of there. It's 45 minutes for me. I've got it down to a science and that's what works for me. But I've been doing this close to eight years. Like in close, week, in, close in, to eight years, I've been able to maintain a size zero and, and I mean, I got a knock on wood and no major illnesses. My physicals come back every year. No, I have very high cholesterol genetically in my family and thank goodness through a really good diet and exercise every day, I've been able to maintain myself to not be on medication. I'm not going to like give you my numbers and all that. We don't need to get all scientific, but I feel um, like I'm in the best shape of my life and I'm 50. Right. I feel healthier now than I did when I was 28 years old. Right. And diet and exercise will actually prevent a lot of, especially as we age, you know, we're 50 ish. Yeah. Um, as we age, we've I got love that. heart, 50-ish. <laughs> you know, heart yeah. issues, cholesterol, sure. diabetes, all those things we don't that start even... coming on. Diet and exercise will actually prevent that because it's keeping our body clean. Because, you, know? you know, we don't absorb electrolytes. I've, I've done my research. We don't absorb electrolytes as we get older. Did you know that? It's harder and harder and harder. Yeah. So I drink a lot of water with electrolytes. I drink a lot of what's your what's your um, what's your insight on alkaline water? I, Do you know enough about it? To I don't, say it's something? not something I. OK, because, uh, again, I try and keep it simple. So yeah. I'm not I'm not out there trying a whole bunch of stuff. Sure. So, um, one of the reasons Beth mentioned pickles yeah. is because of what she does. She works so hard out in the sun to her electrolytes get shot really, really bad. Mm-hmm. Pickle juice is actually, when I fought, I actually used to keep it in a jar yeah. next to me because it, your body craved it too, probably from the amount of working out. And- right. And and it actually has so many electrolytes. It's got 90 times more electrolytes than Gatorade. So when you need that quick pop, pickle juice, <laughs> it pickle also juice, helps for hangovers. Um- <laughs> Uh, extra dirty gray goose martini, extra, yeah. extra, extra dirty. Cause I need the olive juice. Cause I'm about to dehydrate myself. With right. the gray goose. <laughs> so, but just saying, but there's, there's a lot of things that like pickle juice and other things that are, that you can use to, without going to supplements. Sure. So you know, what's in it, you know, yeah. it's clean okay. per se. Okay. So let's go to one more thing before we wrap it up. Brand new person just started watching me has no clue kind of stuck in their ways, living in a stifled lifestyle. Doesn't matter if you're in the first phase, second phase. I call myself the second phase, middle age phase, third phase, never worked out, never taken a supplement. There's a lot of you out there because I get a lot of private messages and people ask me like, where should I even, I don't even know where to start. What is your advice for someone like that? That's okay. never done anything. For first, first and foremost, don't start working out. And start supplementing at the same time. Boom. Don't do it. Don't do it. Work out first. Get your get start eating clean and get your water intake up for two to three weeks so your body can actually start moving and working. Now, after that, if you want to start supplements, I would start one at a time. Now, the most popular thing. Like how, how, like a few months of just eating right and exercising and then supplements or how soon do the supplements come in? 
Well, the, the starting with a protein, like a protein supplement, one Is of that the reasons. This? Yes. Can so I show one, this yes. real quick? Okay. So one of the things well, you want to eat every two to three hours. Um, that keeps your metabolism going. And one protein is a really good way for you to go quick shot because you can take that with you, add a little water, add a little milk. No and, matter whether you've worked out or not. You right, just, no matter where you, work, you, you wake you, up in the morning, you do your protein. Right. Okay. You, you can, but you can use it as your, as your meal because okay. you want your, something in your body every two to three hours. So if you keep this with you and you've gone to that three hour, you don't have anything around, you grab your protein. Yeah. Um, our trialing actually has a, a lot of stuff in it that'll actually help you lose weight. Um, and there's, it's, like it's really clean. Look it up. It's, it's outlaw mm -hmm. laboratories trialing. Now my favorite you. for that salted caramel Ooh, is actually flavor. a frozen coffee drink. If you take ice cubes, um, freeze them with coffee, Love coffee, my caffeinated show girls. It, and that is just, it's the best way to wake up in the mornings. There you well, go. Almost. <laughs> there's my contribution to the world right there. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. So, um, what is this? the what next doing? most popular, so a lot of people, People do the pre-workout. I have never pre done a pre-workout workout in my whole life. Pre-workouts, yes, yes. Okay, I've never done one. So and neither has me. Beth. Beth, until she met me, had never done any supplements. I, yeah, so and when do I do this? Can the, I, I've been working The pre-workout is something I would be very, very, I, would, I wouldn't I would want anyone starting a pre-workout until they've been doing it for six months or so. Okay. Because pre-workout is going to make you go in there and it's going to pump you up and get you just real Like a chihuahua on track. <laughs> So okay. I would start with BCAs. Now BCAs, um, branch branch chain aminos. It, BCAs. BCAs. I'm learning something. Um, oh wait. Is actually branch chain chain aminos. Okay. What it helps with is not only recovery, but muscle building. So not this. Get not away from pre start. workout. Don't yeah. pre workout if you're first starting out. Don't pre workout. Okay. Yeah. Start with a BCA. BCAs. You can you can take BCAAs. the BCAAs. Okay. You know, pre pre workout, intermediate inner workout, and post workout. Either one, it's going to help you um, recover faster. It's going to give you a little bit of a boost of energy, but without the pre-workout slam. I'm going to try it. Yeah, and it's really, really, real. it's really, really good to help kind of kick you start. Mix it with water, up. or how do I? How you do you just I mix it with water? You just get a little um, awesome a, uh, bottle of water, open it up, pour a scoop in, and drink while you're and working out. It's just going to give me an extra boost of energy in the morning to do my workout. It, w this one you're going to do while you're working out, or before you're working oh, out, while or I'm, after. You just because just... I'm a runner, mm -hmm. I get on the treadmill for 30 minutes and I run as fast as I can. People ask me what I do. It's 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 not rocket science. Mm -mm, mm -mm. I it's, just it, run. Again, keep it simple. Okay. Yeah. So those are the three work the three supplements that I would suggest starting with, whether it's our supplements or someone else's. Okay. I wouldn't wouldn't go to anything else until you truly have tried. The, the simple ones first. Okay. Protein, BCAs, pre-workout if you have to. Okay. <laughs> Mom's laughing. Why are you laughing at me, Mom? <laughs> she has like the emoji with people, yeah. with the emoji laughing and crying. Yeah. Okay. So here's my deal. How can people contact you, Jim? Like, I know <laughs> you're like, he's so humble. He's like, I don't want to put my website up. I don't want to, yeah. you, you can know. You can reach me um, through Facebook, Jim Stovall at hotmail.com is my Facebook. Jim Stovall, um, hotmail.com. If, if you click Beth, click who's Beth, on, who's in the comments. Okay, she's in the you comments. You can actually find me through her and just okay. message me. I'll answer any questions you got. You guys, um, seriously. If you want a link for a free shirt, I'll send you a link Ooh. for a free shirt. <laughs> you know. Let me show you my free shirt. I'm all about free. Yeah, so I I would be glad to help with any I'm information. I'm working out you tomorrow have. morning at 24 Hour Fitness in the Woodlands with this on. I'm just saying. Nice. <laughs> yeah, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. You guys, listen. If you will, this is how serious I am. If you will like and subscribe at my YouTube channel, I'm going to upload this episode number three with Jim Stovall. I will give you. I'll do a drawing tomorrow. Say three o'clock tomorrow for this shirt. I'll do a free drawing, go and subscribe, take, um, take a picture of it, send it to me. You can direct message me. You can private message me. You can reach me on Facebook. You can subscribe and take a picture of it. And I'm going to give you a, this shirt, this hot pink. And tank. guys, guys, if, if, if a guy wins, we'll get the guy's yeah. shirt. And, <laughs> so and, you don't and, have to wear yeah. the hot pink. I mean, you know, <laughs> I mean, you can, you can live a little bit. Yeah, we'll, get, <laughs> we'll get you a guy's shirt, but yeah. I think it's so cool. Like I love supporting my friends, I love supporting great companies that are out there to inspire us, to give us motivation, to live a healthier lifestyle. I don't know about you, but I'm ready to go to the gym. Like, I want to put this stuff down. Not really. Just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> I'm not putting my bubbles down. But um, I'm motivated. I'm motivated. I hope today that you got some 
great information. I want to do a few shout outs before I leave. I want to shout out to the Houston Rockets because I'm a Houston girl. Boom, boom, boom. Let's go. Rockets. I got you, Scott. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go Houston Rockets. Um, I also want to shout out to all my family and all my friends on Facebook who day in and day out share and like and comment. I adore you and thank you. You know what my mission is. My mission is to motivate people in a positive way, to change people who might be stifled, to give people a motivation to live a healthier lifestyle. Maybe not always physically, but mentally, for sure. For right. sure. I want to thank everybody who watched today. I'm sorry if we didn't get too much into my girlfriend, Kim, needs a shirt. Yeah, says. <laughs> yeah I got you. <laughs> oh, is that what you said? I yeah, got you, Scott. I got you, Scott. Okay. Mom, I'll get you a shirt. Don't worry, because I know what my mom's thinking. Too. Yeah. Um, I just want to say, Mom, look, I wore your necklace. I know you always talk about the jewelry that she my parents didn't have a lot, but I, they have this thing about giving us amazing jewelry at, at, for our birthdays. And last year in New Braunfels, she presented me with this necklace with matching earrings and I've never worn them. Mom, I wore your necklace today because I love you and I am very grateful for um, the spectacular gifts that you you and daddy worked so hard to save your money and give me. And I'm appreciative. So here it is. It's on video and it's going to be on YouTube. The necklace. <laughs> so anyway, I hope you guys had a great time with us today on Bubble Talk. Stay tuned every Thursday at 4 p.m. I want to thank Spoken About. I want to thank Randall Chestnut. I want to thank Joe Orsak, Troy Hitt. I want to thank Ben Berner. Thank you so much, Ben. You always got my back and I appreciate that. I want to, I want to thank Jim Stoball. Amazing, amazing fitness advocate, personal trainer. If you guys have any questions about supplements, about working out, this is your guy. If you have any questions about stretching, um, physical fitness, fashion, lifestyle, I'm your girl. Tony.Rodriguez1318 at gmail.com. Uh, real estate, Tony.Rodriguez, always a dot, don't forget the dot, <laughs> at century21.com. I think that's it. For today go rockets peace bye guys thank y'all